Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mokulover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. What if Austria-Hungary won World War I? Uh, let's see, if you'd like to, let's see, read this, please go right ahead, pa version 1.03.2. Now the mods we're using are obviously a victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. We also have the State Transfer Dual mod, as well as, well as Player of the Peace Conferences. Thank you for letting us know, and let's begin with a focus, shall we? Well, we can do the future of Romania. And, or assess the military, which seems kind of cool. And is that it? That might be it for the focus tree. Cool. So, let's go ahead and dig into the future of Romania. It is time that Romania decides their own future. We were humiliated by everyone. Romania, rise. And right now, as you can see on screen, I've already gone ahead. And, well, put soldiers into their little respective armies. We're led by Peter Dumitrescu. Very cool. And what does he have with him? Oh, he's a logistics wizard, which I love, as well as an offensive doctrine leader type of dude which is awesome we're building some, some some civilian factories we need a lot more equipment and well we don't have factories for that equipment nor do we have dockyards um king george fifth as well i'm training ships but we have no dockyards which is going to be kind of an issue hopefully we can get northern dobruja and maybe even dobruja itself which would be a very very good thing with the national spirits german dominated industries as well as the C treaty of Kriova, which really does not look very good for us. Oh, no, 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 no. But the future of Romania, a moderate approach or an extremist outlook? Hmm, so let's take a look. Continue rule of the king versus rule of the people. Democracy, huh? Improve relations with like-minded nations. Reinforce the power of monarchy. Not bad, which is not bad since you do get justified war goals times. Autocratic imperialists, secure our borders. I do like that. Early mobilization, I like that. Or secure the new state. You get more democracy. Or we go rally the nationalists. We go more uh, that direction. Or rally the radical left. Ooh. Exile the king. Or just straight up get rid of him. Hmm. An equal nation for all. It's been a while since I played as a communist nation. Well, at the time of me saying that, me at the time of this recording, me saying that does not make any sense. But regardless. Remove Treaty of Craiova. Prepare for the next Balkan War. I think I want to rush down that way as fast as possible. I think what we're going to go with is probably a moderate approach for this one and continue the rule of the king. Let's do that one. Extreme positions are not exceeded by moderate ones, but by contrary extreme positions. Friedrich Nietzsche. Which we lose daily radical socialism support as well as national populism support. Ha, huh, big status. But we do have 150 political power. Now, currently we get 0.89 every day, which is not bad. And uh, I, I, I've got to go get, get that PP. I love the PP. George Argesianu? I don't know anything about Romania, I'll be honest. Like... My knowledge of Romania is very extremely limited, I should really say, so. But doing this gave us, like, what, 0.2 more political power or something like that? So, not too bad. Maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I love it. Uh, well, who else do we have down here? An elusive gentleman, which would be nice. A Prince of Terror with the Mr. Monocle Man. Looks not bad. We have electronic mechanical engineering. Let's grab some mechanical computing itself. We're also doing construction one and basic machine tools. Very nice. I love how fast this is. And a 35-day focus. Ugh, it warms my heart seeing that. Now, we could do rule the people, but we're going to continue the rule of the king. There's no need to fix what isn't broken. The people are content, and our nation is stable, which is very good. Prince of Terror is not bad. Our captain of industry is also not too bad. But I would like to grab probably Mr. Land Doctrine. So, a moderate approach. So, we will. this will be removed within about a year. So, not too bad. House of Hohenzollern Sigmaringen. Very nice. Very, very nice. I, you know, it's only 100 political power changes. Not too bad. And what do we have for decisions? Anything different or unique? Not really. And that's okay. Sometimes you don't need it too special, but sometimes it would be very nice to have a special. Disperse industry as the one I usually go for, and then we shall do reinforce the power of the monarchy. Well, let's do this one. It's only 28 days too, look at that. I love the Greeks. I love the Serbs. In order to secure allies in the Balkans and protect our borders, we should boost our relations with other nations, especially those nearby who we might have a potentially common adversary with. Actually, now that we have this, uh, let's, might as well. We can get more fuel that way. Why not? And then we'll do the... Uh, one for army doctrine. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do it like this. Because we have horses here. And actually, there was technically two different types of divisions for this. There was one version of horse of cavalry with, with artillery, like we see. And one without. I just made them both with. So, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to have you guys actually do this. Because I'll just use the cavalry as kind of special forces. Even though they're not super special. Well, they're special to us. But, you know, whatever. Even though, I shouldn't really be training the Navy since I can't heal the ships, which really, really sucks. Hopefully they don't die. We have a total of eight ships. Four subs and four destroyers. So, reinforce the power of the monarchy. To make sure the king cannot be undermined, we must reinforce his power. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I do want to keep an eye. We have a downturn of the economy, which will happen eventually. 
We got that one done. Let's see. Let's get some radio. I love the radio. I actually listen to the radio all the time when I'm in my car. Assess the military. A spirit of aggression. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or a legacy of Berthelot. No, the Carpathian Fortress. Weapon contracts. Modern Kalarasi. Kalarasi. Huh. Many shock tactics. Not bad. Lightning strike. Or strike like lightning. Or Carpathian Fortresses. Shells. Not bad. Expand the fortifications. Lessons of Marasatsi, Marasti, Marasti, and Marasetsi. Oh, very cool. Bleeder enemies dr Oh, that oh, that's not bad. More mats entrenchment, artillery attack and defense. Ooh. Ooh, I kinda like that. Hmm. Hmm, I kinda really like that one. Ooh, man, you give me plus ten more entrenchment, I'm gonna be happy. But we're going to secure our borders. Now that we've stabilized the nation both from within inside and the outside, we must now build up our military as a physical deterrent. With 50,000 more manpower, 500 units of some sort of Romanian thingy, secure borders, more entrenchment speed, more division attack, and defense on core territory. And we, oh, wait, we just go straight... Oh, crap, I should have spent political power for this. We go straight to partial mobilization. Actually, maybe it just gives you to the next level, maybe? Hmm. I think it did say early, early mobilization earlier. I don't know. At the time of this recording, and even though we're like six minutes in, I, mentally, I just mentally can't think anymore, so... Hope you're having a great day. I know I'm doing okay. For now. And let's see. Very nice. Ah, stock market crash in Vienna. Oh, no. Universitati din Burkuresti. I speak words, and I usually mispronounce things. Cool. Um, so, yeah. I definitely want to get some more daily army XP because we can use it. The effects of the Vienna stock market crash reaches the Kingdom of Romania. On Monday, August 3rd, the stock market crash of Vienna opened its doors with yet another major decline in value compared to last week. But this time, it caused massive chaos amongst shareholders who try to save their invested money. This caused several Austro-Hungarian banks and companies to go bankrupt. And we are also feeling the effects of the crash. And our country is facing an economic depression. My goodness. We lose stability. And we get that those effects. Ah, uh, no thanks. I'm not touching that. Nope. Well, we already have it, so... But technically, we will lose 10 stability if we touch that, so I don't want to touch that. So we secure the borders. Negotiate Romanian rearmament. Oh, so we basically we've got to focus on that one next. All right, downturn of the economy. Because of the stock market crash, nations around the globe have hit a major recession. And we're not excluded from that. We must find ways to recover from this hole we've fallen into and rebuild our country stronger than ever before. <sighs> well, I'm glad we got that army XP. That's not too bad. And I like that. Entrenchment speed... Eh, that's okay. Oh, oh, that stability hit. Oh, it pains me so much. Oh, my goodness. We need so many guns, but artillery is looking really nice, actually. In the meantime, let's go and train our soldiers, because we want to have the soldiers in the tip-top shape, if possible. We could train these guys, too, but that might... Uh, just go and do it. Why not? Why not? We're training everybody. We might as well. We got a fairly good amount of naval XP, too. So, downturn of the economy. Got more stability. Continue the land reforms. I kind of like that. It's not too bad. We're com compromised with the landholders. More monthly population, max factories in the state, which you might get one more fa max factory in the state just because you get plus 3%, which isn't very much. Export more than grain. Monthly population resources to market. S loan for small farmers. Urban rural community. Diverse agriculture. Connecting, connecting the countryside. Mechanized farming. Exploit the rivers. Foster Romanian industry. Restore the grazing lands. Focus on quality, industrial development, refine the refineries, and Malaxa. Oh, available as a motorized infrastructure and civilian. Oh, that's not too bad. That's interesting. Assess the military, which we'll, we will do eventually, but I'd want to get rid of these effects first. Romanian prosperity would be nice. So, nationalization of foreign assets. Ooh, the German Empire might impose economic sanctions on us for seizing their assets. Request a German bailout. Okay, as national spirit has not completed rally the, with the radical left, or rally the radical left. Okay. German, they must approve. Modified by even more con political power loss and consumer goods instability. Okay. German oil investments. Adds. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Or seeking new economic markets. Russian Empire. Germany. Well, let's take a look at the faction. Because they're in, the, by, in a faction by themselves, which is not a bad thing. If we could ally with the Germans, that'd be kind of nice. But if we could ally the Russians, that might be really good. Mm, construction speed goes up, as well as factory output. But that extra fuel... We're doing pretty well on fuel already. 
Uh, I kind of want to see if we can go with the Russians. I mean, we are the monarchy still, so we'll see what happens. The Treaty of Kiev put significant economic assets under the joint control of Romania and the former Central Powers, or directly in foreign hands. The stock market crash in Vienna has, however, ruined the German economic hegemony, and many other assets in Romania are filing for bankruptcy. Now is the time to put them back into the hands of the state and its people to retake control of our own economy. The Germans are going to be pissed off at that, and that's okay with me. Wow, we'll be done in two months. Mechanical computing, dispersed, dispersed industry, nice. We got that one coming along. We can save that one for a little bit later. Tanks? I would like tanks. Maybe we'll go with medium tanks, because heavy tanks take quite a long time to produce. So, uh, Let's see. Fighters? Yeah. We got to make sure we got good fighters. And we do have casts here, so... Or no, no, no. We have tactical bombers, so we don't need casts. We need tactical bombers. Neutrality Act? Good luck with that. U.S. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I don't want to lower this because I do want to throw artillery under divisions. Serbia gains independence. Great job, Serbia. And I will play Serbia probably in this mod eventually as well. I think that would be a good thing to do or play as. And I don't know if we can really afford that one. Let's grab this one first. Let's see what happens. Oh, actually. Bumo, Bumo. Now, I wonder what type of sanctions we're going to get slapped with. Treaty of Krajova. Hmm, hopefully gets at least some consumer goods back or something like that. So, safe God, the banking sector. All right. The German Empire sanctioned us. In response to seizing of the assets within Romania, the Germans have sanctioned us in hopes of making us change our minds. Oh, okay. Safeguarding the banking sector, more consumer goods, construction speed, safeguard the banking sector, seek new economic markets. I love the 50%, but I want more consumer goods. Allowing the credit sector to crumble would only lead to a worse economic crisis, as the farmers would be unable to get their money back or pay back their loans, and businesses would fare even worse. The banking sector must be kept afloat so we can have a reserve of money for future projects. And now we got a lot more political power, which is pretty nice. Backroom backstabber might not be bad. Uh, I would like to go with Maloxa here eventually. That looks pretty good. Uh, Fabrica? Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, you get the, oh, oh, we need control of Transylvania to get this one, though. More defense and soft stack for artillery and construction speed and artillery research speed. Ooh. Hmm, not bad. I love I love it when the devs have unique companies and ministers and positions like this. I really, really enjoy it. So we're going to go with Mr. Maloxad, who I probably should look up who he was in real life, Nikolai. Because there's his last name, but then we also have his industry here. So he's probably an industrial magnate of some sort. Very cool. Secure borders, I love it. Hmm. Well, there's still fairly democratic people around here. Kill a second. He gives us stability, worth sport, and a little bit less just fire world goal sounds, which is totally cool. Export focus. Uh, going into limited exports might not be bad, but then again, right now, we are pretty much in the perfect position. Heck, we might even... Eh, going up to free trade would probably be not really worthwhile. We might actually lose too much of what we would want. But in seeking new economic markets. Well, the German economic spheres in ruins, there are not many options available for trade deals, but both the Russian and the Entente governments have signaled us of their interest in buying Romanian oil and agricultural products to alleviate their own shortages. This is surely a beautiful start of a new friendship. Or maybe the rekindling of an old friendship, maybe some would say. So, obviously there's going to be... Oh, the Socialist Republic of Transcaucasia, huh? I need to play these guys too, eventually. Wed? Wed? Red Army Weekend. Failed Revolution. Well, that sucks for you. Stalin Constitution? Not a bad idea sometime. Oh, a little bit of, Oh, okay then. They exploded. In the mean... Actually, can we send you guys an attaché? That would be something different. I never do. We can see what's going on with those guys. Oh, wait. I get some volunteers too. Nice. You know what? I, I'm going to send an attaché. Why not? I never do this. It's probably really better to spend our political power somewhere else, but I'm going to do it anyways if we can. They said no. Okay then. Don't go breaking my heart. Man, why can't we just love each other? Alright, so you guys are 12 combat with. Uh, some of these guys are 18 combat with. And some of you guys are 18 combat with, with artillery, which is not bad. So, infantry division number 7. Good luck. Um, I'll take you with me. Hopefully they'll say yes. They allowed it. Uh, they don't want an attaché, but they allowed us to do that. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's grab some more stability. Stability for the people. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plane-wise, I mean, we could get some valuable XP. We don't have a lot of planes, as you can see, so... Oh, we can only send 14. Um, hmm. Well, I guess it'd be fighters that we'd have to send, then. Let's see. 14, huh? Actually, no, just split you guys in half first. There you go. Cool. All right. Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it. 
Because those, those Soviets, they hit hard. They hit very hard. Hey, our division made it. We have no tanks too, so. Ion. Very cool. Gum to Sartsen. Get some army XP, and if it's costing us too much manpower, well, we'll pull out. When in doubt, pull out. You're an offensive dude, which is totally fine with me. Charismatic? Sure, why not? Support weapons 1. It is still 37. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's get some more output, because we could definitely use some more output. Seeking new economic markets. And... Relief. Organized relief. Work. The economic crash was one of the last things we needed at the present moment, but fortunately, we've been blessed with fertile soil. It may, be, it may impact us for a while, but we can withhold some of the grain that was... To be exported to make sure our people do not, do not starve. Get more stability, less consumer goods, more factory output. Yes, please, 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 please. And I hope you guys are going to learn a lot because it's actually really difficult to defeat the Soviets early on. Ooh, there's some tanks there too. Interesting. Could you actually win here? Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm just hanging out. Just defend for now. That's the most important thing to do is just to hang out and hold. Cool. Construction too. And better light tanks. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and grab some cap. Nice. Update equipment. Nice. Good. Something actually really, 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 really good. DVP holds the power. Interesting, interesting. Oh, bad words. They could encircle us eventually. Oh, that would be not very good. But hey, look at that army XP. Not bad, I would say, my friends. Not bad. But if they start getting attacked, I'm just going to pull out immediately. That's... Oh, boy. Oh man, they're really trying to encroach, aren't they? We got some air XP as well, nice. And if we lose one division, it, it's pretty bad, but whatever. After this one, we shall do... Oh, modern approach is gone. Romanian prosperity. For far too long, the average Romanian has seen little to no improvement to their conditions, despite its wealth and growth. With the reforms taking shape, more and more Romanians will be affected by economic development and growth. In the future, the whole nation, not just the wealthy landowners and plutocrats, will actually feel Romania's growing prosperity and will become a beacon for other nations to follow. We get 10% more stability. We get less consumer goods, construction speed, cap, growth, output, and dockyard output for a whole year. Not bad. I would like to go to war economy, but in time. Backroom backstabber, Prince of Terror would not be bad. Help less damage to garrisons. That would be actually very, very nice. In the meantime, though. Oh, wait. Oh, we're on free trade now. Oh, well, we went there anyways. Er, I'm not sure if I really agree with that. Hmm. Uh, how much is that impacting our... Oh, yeah, we don't have a lot of factories anyways. Uh, that is hurting our production of stuff, though. But uh, maybe we'll keep it for now. I would love to do that one. We need to do that focus though. Material designer. Uh, I, we gotta get Transylvania. Um, maybe raise your Oh, we can't change your conscription level too. Offense, defense. Well, hmm. I would love to do this guy. Damage garrisons goes down, which is not bad. Backroom backstabber. I mean, I suppose we'll go with him for now. It's not worth it, honestly. It's really nice. Just not worth it for that political power. But we'll do it anyways, because we can. All right? Because we can. Oh, crap. You're still getting attacked like crazy, huh? Hope you're learning. Uh, General Rakovita. No, nope, they reclaimed another, another tile. Very good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Actually. There you go. Make it only two at a time. But we're going to go ahead and throw on one artillery here, probably. Do we have enough for this? Yeah, we do. We barely have enough, though. Nice. Please don't get attacked there. We gotta keep an eye on that one tile. Fill it up with more artillery. And actually, that should help us. Yep, that helps us with guns, which is very, very nice. As long as we don't lose starts, then we'll be okay, right? If I start reading this next focus, we might lose this division and could get encircled. Are those Greek boys here? There are Greek boys here, huh? Well, after that one. One of the following must be true at war. It must be in a faction. All right, cool. Removes the Treaty of Craiova. Well, in the meantime, maybe we'll assess the military state of aggression because we do need to start focusing on our air doctrines. Or land doctrine, I mean. Oh, air doctrine would be nice. Ooh, daily army XP, naval XP game would not be bad. Compromise with the landholders. Authoritarian in. Huh. Well, currently we are authoritarian, so I guess that makes sense to compromise with the landholders. As much as I want to do that one. Oh, but then. Oh. Uh, Ooh, continue the land reforms would be really nice, though. I want to get that factory for this one, so we'll probably continue the land reforms then. Our ambitious land reforms are stopped by the opposition from the king and the wealthy landowners, who prefer the unequal status quo. We must break up the great estates and redistribute the land for all, instead of just small aristocratic elite, no matter how much bl bad blood is going to create among them. 
On second thought, I think I'm going to compromise with them. It just makes more sense if we do it this way. Redistribution of land cannot be done without an agreement with the land-owning aristocracy. Perhaps we can find a compromise with the great estates, one which satisfies both the landowners and the small farmers. Uh, just with the authoritarian thing there, I've got, I've got to do that one. It just makes sense, right? Oh, oh, they're attacking. Look at that. They're counterattacking. There's so many dead Russian boys here. Holy crap. I, I can't be blamed for this one. I'm only Romanian. Uh, Greece, what are you doing? I mean, I love the we got right now, but... Keep building, boys. Keep building. Mm, do I want to help attack there? Eh, no. I don't think it'd be smart to do that, man. Right, in the meantime, you guys go over right here. Yes, there you go. Nice. Wow, we've only got eight planes left. That's pretty bad. That's all right. Just keep spinning the planes in. All right. Happy June 1937. Let's see. Grab stuff around here. More fuel gain. We already got a lot of fuel. Let's grab some radar. I love radar. It can be very, very beneficial. Wild Germany, you're killing your own soldiers off. Well, they've definitely broken in around here. Amelia Earhart. Well, she's done her stuff. All right. The line's moving up. Nice. Good job, guys. Wow, they're looking not too good. Holy crap. That's not good. Um. Okay, then. Disperse industry, then. I love it. Up next, let's get the better artillery now. I love socks attack. Mm. A diverse agriculture. As much as I want to do that one, it's all right. Export more than grain, more monthly population. Uh, seeking new economic markets. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that seems to be done this way anyway. So, um, diverse agriculture. You could go all the way down to there, maybe. But this one requires. Oh, maybe we can still go down that way. Okay, yeah, we can still go down that way. Oh boy. Hmm. Exploit the rivers. I like that we can get, still go down this way. Compromise? I think this one makes more sense then, because we can still go down that way then. Romania remains heavily agrarian and will likely remain as such for the foreseeable future. Nevertheless, this does not mean that farmers should depend on a single crop. Romanian farmers must grow and diversify diversely to keep the soil and national economy healthy. Because eventually we can go back here and do this with other stuff as well, so... And we can choose that stuff. I, I really want to go down to this one. I really, really want. I got a problem, but that, you know what? What else is new? Let's see. So hopefully we can get that one. Over here. Uh, can we do this one immediately? Yeah, we can. Fighters. What is this? I mean, fight. It's probably best to do find A I R. Let's just go and grab this guy. More attack and defense is nice. There you go. Uh, hmm. Could you actually win here? You might actually be able to win here. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I know that was probably going to be a slight war. Probably between us and Bulgaria, maybe. Maybe eventually. So I'm kind of waiting for that little kerfuffle to explode, as Alex Rambler would say. It's just another kerfuffle. Because he doesn't like the word W-A-R. It's a naughty word. Naughty, naughty. Alright. Uh, land auction. Ah, oh, crud. I don't know which one we should go down towards. Uh, well, let's take a look. I'll be honest, I really like this one. Max Entrenchment. I like that a lot. So you know what? This one says, Grand Battle Plan and Superior Firepower. I think for us, how about we go with... Grand Battle Plan. Let's go with that one. We'll get, we're going to maximize our entrenchment just because we're not a major power, but we can become a pretty strong regional power eventually, which would be pretty darn nice. So. You can go and hold. That's fine. I'll just... Hold on, before we, they die, does the Algerian state have a unique focus tree? That'd be kind of cool if they did. No, they don't, but that'd be really cool. Maybe someday, you know? Maybe someday. Can you guys actually win here? No, I don't want to attack when you're not going to win, right? Yeah, I'm going to wait. You don't want to always just attack, attack, attack. That's suicide. You might actually be able to win. Nice. Cool. How many men have we lost in this war? A thousand? Two thousand? Eh, that's not too bad. Diverse agriculture is very cool. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and do assess the military. After the Russian victory in the Russian Civil War, we secretly violated the Treaty of Krajowa by introducing army conscription where the li treaty limited Romania to an army of 65,000. We need to further expand the army to ensure victory in the future conflicts. Oh, wait. This volume will bypass it. Well, I guess technically we don't have to do that. We can just kind of wait and once the war be... Okay, maybe we'll just by wait to bypass that. Okay. <clears throat> Industrial development, focus on quality, export more than grain. 
Let's do industrial development. There are more to industrialization than building mere, more factories. Equipment and tools have to be bought, made, or modernized to improve efficiency. Therefore, we must invest in new industrial technologies in the world of constant development and invention in order for the Romanian industry to stay competitive and worthwhile. You guys definitely win there, so that's nice. I love being on the victorious side, right? Who doesn't? Cool. Give you guys a little bit of a break to help out and uh, get some organization back, I'd say. Cool. Too bad, I wish you have no... In oh, wait, you can support the attack. It looks like you can't, but you actually can support the attack. That's kind of cool. So we don't actually have to leave a position. I never knew that, because those... Because it's just gray or you know, it's tan. You can't really... You have no intel on it, so I'm like... Can you actually click on it? And I confirmed in this campaign, or this episode, you can, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, I'm going to save this until we know if our army is really good at it or not, so we'll save it. Free trade, though, man. <clears throat> as much as I love construction speed. Uh, we're going to need more steel. Yeah, we're really going to need that steel and tungsten. Which we don't have any tungsten, but steel would be really good. Let's go. Uh, I can't trade. Uh, I feel so limited right now. Ground support. Um, Experiority would be pretty good. Ship designer would be a complete waste right now. Let's go with that guy. Safeguarding the banking sector. All right. Should be able to win there. After industrial development, we're going to go with Malaxa next. Nikolai Malaxa is perhaps the most successful Romanian industrialist and certainly where the wealthiest and well-connected. By supporting his endeavor with Malaxa Company, we will certainly be rewarded with financial and industrial support, which could prove critical in further developing Romania's uh, economy. Industrial research speed goes up, production, infrastructure, construction speed, factory, civilian factory, construction speed, we get another civilian factory. What's not to love about that? Look at that. That's pretty nice. More monthly population. We love babies here. Alliance offer from the Kingdom of Serbia. The Kingdom of Serbia sent a diplomat to Mutenia to discuss an alliance offer between us and the Kingdom of Serbia. This alliance is aimed at ending Bulgaria's hegemony over the Balkans. What will our response be? We have no interest in their alliance. We shall make our, the alliance official. And we're done uh, training too, which is actually really, really good. In the meantime, we have a few guns, a few pieces of artillery. Garrisons are here, of course. Uh, you guys need to be a little thicker. Actually, I might just change you guys into motorized eventually. Uh, but we have no motorized, so that's not going to help. So, cavalry, I suppose it is. Guys and horses, what more could you want? Greece? Oh, uh, the foundation of the Belgrade Pact, or the Balkan League. I wonder what's going to happen. Nothing but peaceful endeavors, I assure you. I assure you nothing but peaceful endeavors. Peace conference. Oh, oh there goes Algerian social state. Very cool. Head on in as well. Maybe you want to help him out down here. Enter war artillery. Now maybe we can kill these guys off fast enough so that they, the Russians will help us out when we get to war ourselves. So maybe that'll happen. Military police would be very nice. And eh, get some more land light tanks because you can't. Radio detection is very cool as well. Uh, let's grab some extraction. Maybe that's pretty beneficial usually, right? Krasnodar is where we gotta go. Come on. Is anyone else going to attack around here? There you go. Could you actually just take the capital city ourselves? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Hey, then encirclement. Nice. Oh, we were so close to attacking these guys. Oh, but now we're getting reinforced. Romanians lead the charge, but the French tanks are there too. That is not good. Malox is nice. Refine the refineries. Mechanized farming. Connecting the countries. I want to get as much boost to this, so mechanized farming. Uh, but we got to negotiate Romanian rearmament. <clears throat> With rising tensions across the globe, there's no room for protective treaties. If we are to truly be protected, we must have the right to defend ourselves. We must negotiate with the global powers for the removal of this treaty that hampers our ability to have an effective military. We get more war support, 75,000 manpower, and remove this speedy treaty of Craiova, which is actually very good to get rid of. Very, very good to get rid of, actually. Gosh dang it. Ah, uh, the failed assault. Oh, they really want to protect their capital for some reason. Yemen joined the Arabian League. Very cool. Interesting alliance. You're learning a lot, hopefully. Good, good. Help them out. Beat them up. Ooh, what can we do here? Oh, yes. Ah, yes. Look at that. Nice. Why not? That's exactly what I wanted, so why not? 
Third Balkan War? All right, then. <clears throat> All right, Shippies, I know you're injured, but just go home. The Bulgarian government refused an ultimatum of Serbia to hand over all territories they seized from us and our allies during the Veltkrieg. With no other option, the Serbian government has declared war. As we are part of the Balkan League, we, are, we need to come to their aid. Though we will face stiff Bulgarian resistance, <clears throat> the Balkan League surely will emerge victorious from this new conflict. Onwards to victory. And I'm sorry, Russia, but we've done the best we can against them. I think you'll do okay. Now, these guys are attacking. Totally fine. Uh, we're going to head on over here immediately, if we can. Thank you very much. Third Balkan War, together for victory. If we can do this, that would be great. Actually, just go right on in, actually. All right, they have no one there. If we can circle that division, that'd be really good. Nice. Uh, oh, just put them in here for now, because this we won't need to cover that if we do this correctly. we got to be smart how we do this. And I'm attacking over river, so never mind about me being smart. Oh, they're actually attacking us back. Thank you for doing this. Oh, you have no general, too. Thank you. Nice. <clears throat> Prepare for the next Balkan War. Well, we're already kind of there. We go straight to ex extensive conscription. Wow. Develop our military industry. War economy? Sign me up. While we have a thriving civilian economy, we are lacking in our military industry. We must construct more factories with the intent of making more weaponry. Nice. Oh, wow. That's a lot of political power. Look at that. War propaganda? I'd love to do that. Oh, we already captured Dobruja. Was that a goal? Nice. At last, we've, we have a, we can have our revenge on the Bulgarians. It's our duty to recapture Dobruja, which was stolen from us by the Central Powers after the Valkyrie. And doing going here like this would be a complete waste of time and political power, because we're going to get it once this war is over. Not bad. Not bad at all. Armor? Leonid? Breakthrough is really, really important. Why would we... Wait. 5% reliability and breakthrough, but you get 10% breakthrough here. And breakthrough's already pretty good, so I kind of understand why you might go this one then. Uh, Leonid, probably. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'm still keeping <laughs> uh, free trade on for now, so we'll see what happens. If we could break over the river somewhere like here, maybe? That'd be really swell and get down to Dobrish. Alright, Serbia, Greece, you're looking... Well, you might have given up some territory, maybe. Yeah, that's our neck up. They're really focusing on them, not us, which is good. Grand battle plan, don't sign us up. All right, get that division out of there. Good, and head over there if you can. Head on down. Support the attack. Can you guys actually support the attack as well? That'd be really cool if you could. Nice. As long as you're not going to reinforce here, we're going to snipe another uh, division and kill them off. Making our position more, uh, much stronger, even though... You know what? Let the Greeks deal with this. They're, they're kind of sucking. I'll be honest. I don't know how they're sucking this hard. Oh, they have German divisions over. Okay, never mind. Help them out. Force it through. Get some more research speed first. Thank you. Beautiful, my friends. And you have been cut off. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Come again. Take Vana. Actually, just take the coast. Beautiful. Do we have anything here? Oh, we can't repair yet. Oh, god dang it. I wonder how far we can go. Oh, just go straight to Adrianople then. Are these guys really just not here? Can we go straight to Sophia? Let you all go. Hold them in place. Hold them in place. We're going in, boys. Russian Civil War ends. Peace is returned. Very cool. Uh, you guys could help out here, actually. Just go here first and take, cut those guys off. Maybe. There you go. Mm, it's not really going that well for us right now. Don't you guys move in. Move in. Now, attacking across the line like this is usually not a good idea, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Not bad. Oh, they're actually beating us up there, huh? Alright, so we wanna hold the attack for the most part. You guys stop attacking. You just kinda hold. Kill that division off. Any dead division, enemy dead division, is a good division. Oh, let's go back down to export focus. Good. Help them out. Good. And then, prepare for the next Balkan War. The Balkans have never been a pale ace for consistent peace or stability. We must prepare for the coming war so we can come out of it with an outcome favorable to us. Nice. Oh, you guys just hold. Don't worry about that. Yeah, stop attacking. So we've lost a total of 12,000. Not bad. Versus 46,000. We've done the most damage. 36,000 almost. Dead. And now we made that 
44.4 thousand dead. I uh, love it. Now that should definitely give the Greeks a little bit more of a... Okay, then, break. We fought and lost control of this area, but... Uh, all right, then. There you go. Good luck. They 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 abandoned the river. I I I don't understand why. That that there's why. That is one of the most militarily dumb things to do I've ever seen. Then again, I'm just a guy on the internet playing games. So, this is an AI that's known for being not extremely intelligent. Some might say. Come on, move in there, boys and girls. Oh, that sucks. You guys hold. Mashuki Kingdom's gone. I'd like to get down here because... Actually, that's not... Ooh, that's not good. Uh, we might be able to do an encirclement eventually. Cool. 1938. Happy New Year. March 15th. I guess it's been New Year for a while. Uh, they do have tanks down here, which is kind of not good for us, but whatever. Actually, for this... Let's go cover all of our own lands. That's good. We'll probably have to try to bust into here. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we got some of this too. Nice. Give them some time. They might actually try to attack us. If not, we can probably try to attack here too. So Give our guys some time to get prepared. And get some more propaganda too. Nice. Very good. Not bad. So that's done on the left side. Refine the refiners. Focus on quality. Mechanized farming. Mechanization will exponentially improve the productivity of Romanian farms, which will undoubtedly improve the state of the rural economy. At the same time, it will improve the livelihood of a majority of Romanians and ensure an abundance of food. Probably. Hopefully. If not, we've got some serious problems. Now, I doubt we can do too much damage here, to be honest with you. So, but we'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll definitely see. Um, this is going much better than I thought it would. Oh, we can actually pierce them. They must have really god-awful armor, even though they do have air superiority as well. And we are attacking literally into... Oh, okay, this plane looks like mountains to me, but okay. Yeah, don't do that. That's fine. Another two divisions killed. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. We've delivered 66.7 thousand deaths to the Bulgarians. I'd hate to play as Bulgaria in this one, and I'm sure someone's going to ask me, can you play as Bulgaria in the victory of the dual monarchy mod? And I'll be like, oh no, 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 but ultimately I'll probably say yes. Alright, let's see what happens. Can we go straight for Sofia? Because we've got a lot of support here that we can throw at these guys. A lot of support. It looks like we can slowly, slowly win. How many guns are we out? 3,100, 3, huh? It's quite a few guns. Oh, the German tanks. They're trying to attack us, huh? Good luck. Restore the grazing lands. Foster Romanian industry. You know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we do foster Romanian industry? Or should we do restore the grazing lands? Let me know in the comments below. Export more than grain. Uh, we don't have to do that one because this one it says that one auto bypass. So let's go and do export more than grain. In order for the Romanian economy to thrive in the world of markets, diversification is the best way to create a solid natural economic foundation. This will ensure that Romania's economy is no longer at the mercy of the grain market and its fluctuating prices. So can we pierce them? No, we can't. And we do have air support, but not air superiority. Oh, you guys can't win. There's actually guys in there. Okay, so at least we won here. That's nice. Uh, we might try to attack here next, because that looks actually probably pretty good to do so. Take you guys, give our horses just a slight break. Okay, that's enough of a break for you guys, and going in too. Growing economy's gone, so be it. Building some roads, I love it. Nice job, guys. Uh, we could maybe. Uh, so, if only that attack is not really smart to do. At the same time, uh, army logistics, attrition, interception. I mean, we'll do some interception stuff, I guess. Three divisions there, huh? The Serbs are pushing in a little bit. These guys do look like they're running out of equipment, so which is actually pretty darn nice. Seventy-one. Don't go any lower, please. Come on. You gotta hold yourselves. Well, probably not gonna be able to do that, so. 
Export more than grain, and let's focus on quality knowledge to refine the refineries. The Polesti oil fields are known to be some of the most plentiful in Europe. However, the current refineries remain only a fraction of the potential. With some support from the state, we can further expand our oil industry and reap its rewards. If we can't attack here. We're going to attack somewhere else, like here. Oh, we beat them up already. Nice. I love it. I love it when we beat our enemies up. I love it when they leave the battlefield. Where are you going, son? We just started attacking you. Are you winning, son? The Bulgaria surrenders. The joined armies of the armed forces of the Balkan League have managed to revert the injustices imposed on us after the end of the Valkyrie. Bulgaria will cede all disputed lands to the Balkan League, but we must retreat our forces behind the border. An independent but greatly reduced Bulgaria will continue to exist for now. The Balkan League stands triumphant. Not bad. Wow, we actually have a border with these guys, huh? Not bad, my friends. I think we've done an extraordinarily good job with this. Actually, don't guard Serbian lands. Actually, they might guard our own lands, but whatever. Now, maybe we'll go through one more focus after this. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Not bad. Then again, those Austrians, you never you never can trust them. You can never trust an Austrian. And we still can't build anything here. We oh, No ports, huh? Alright, assess the military is done. And I'll do one more focus before we're done here. Lessons from the Balkan War, probably. The Balkan War we found ourselves fighting in was costly, but it also could be used to teach us. We should take it, take advantages or take the strategies. <coughs> my apologies. That worked well in the conflict and use it to train our military into a more effective fighting force, which we will select very soon together. Hopefully it'll be done. Eh, it'll be done well. Well, you can go ahead and end the episode here. So, I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of us playing as a kingdom of Romania in the dual victory of the dual monarchy mod. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We're going to watch Austria, the, the Ottoman Empire collapse eventually. But regardless, thank you, thank you very much for watching. And have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.